So it looks like Taylor Swift's new boyfriend, Maddie Healy, might have fallen from grace because he is getting heavily dragged online by everyone, including Ice Spice. He recently made some nasty comments about Ice Spice, and she is now draging him through the filth and telling him to keep her name out of his mouth. Did Ice Spice really make Taylor dump him? Ice Spice is making it clear to Maddie Healy that she is not a fan of his nasty comments, especially when it comes to her. For those who don't really know Maddie, he is the lead singer of the band, The 1975. If there is one thing that Maddie has always always been known for. It's his wild controversial statements that always end up rubbing people the wrong way because they're just so controversial. Now, Maddie has been making a name for himself in music, but he got even more popular in the past couple of weeks because he was romantically linked to Taylor Swift after her breakup with Joe Alwyn. Now, Taylor is one of the biggest pop stars in the world, and as such, her relationships always get a lot of press and public attention. Knowing this, you would expect Maddie would somehow manage to keep his mouth shut so he doesn't make himself and Taylor look bad, right? Well, wrong. Maddie has not changed at all and this time, he came for Ice Spice for no reason at all. It all started when he went on the Friedland podcast and said some things that were so offensive that the podcast had been taken down from all platforms and that just shows how extremely offensive the episode was. According to sources, Healy and the hosts roamed more or less randomly around the cultural landscape cracking jokes. One of the hosts asked if the rapper Ice Spice, who is of Nigerian and Dominican descent, was an Inuit Spice Girl. And the group then did crude approximations of an Inuit accent veering from vaguely Chinese to quasi-Hawaiian. But if you think the article was being kinda harsh, well, just listen to him. Ice Spice, do you know who that is? Nick doesn't know who it is. She's like one of the Spice Girls. Yes, that's she's right. Like she's like this rapper that has She's an Inuit Spice Girl. <laughs> just this chubby Chinese lady. <laughs> yeah, I'm rapping on music. Do they talk like that? Do Inuit talk like that? They don't talk with a Chinese accent. They talk like a, a more Hawaiian style. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more yeah, Hawaiian. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to Hawaii. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> Locals only. Locals only. Gulp coconut. <laughs> yeah, that's what Ice Spice is like. Yeah. She's a very attractive woman yeah. that released one song. It's not hard to see why people are super pressed about this. Not only was he rude to Ice Spice, but he also came off as kinda racist as well. Especially the part where he called her a chubby Chinese lady and then mocked the accent. And let's not even get started on how he tried to talk down on her success by saying that she has only released one song. And y'all wanna know the crazy part about this? It's the fact that this is not the first time that Maddie is being called out for this type of behavior because he has done it so many times. It was only a couple of months ago that he was dragged for saying that he gets off on watching adult content of black women getting brutalized. Said I think it literally was like ghetto gaggers was on the TV. It's just somebody just getting like brutalized. And it wasn't like some cool <laughs> sceney <laughs> New York art girl who was like, oh, I'm sorry, it doesn't matter. Like, it was Little Olive who yeah, came yeah. in and she was like, I'm so sorry. Yeah, she like Britishly apologized. And, just like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I'm so... Yeah. Like, why would he even say that? Again, it came off as being kinda racist, and we're starting to see a pattern here with him. But if you think it can't possibly get any worse from here, well, it can. Maddie has also been accused of being a sea apologist after he was accused of doing a sea salute on stage during a performance. While singing, thank you, Kanye, very cool. What makes this even worse is that it was during the time when Kanye was facing a lot of heat for his anti-Semitic statements. So not only was Maddie showing suppose but he was also showing support for Kanye and his anti-Semitism. But hold on, because it gets even worse. Maddie recently sat down with The New Yorker for an interview where they brought up the topic of his offensive statements. And he has no remorse. According to the interviewer, had he baited his fans on purpose? A little bit, he said, but it doesn't actually matter. Nobody is sitting there at night, slumped at their computer, and their boyfriend comes over and goes, what's wrong, darling? And they go, it's just this thing with Maddie Healy. That doesn't happen. Maybe it does, I said. If it does, he said, you're either deluded or you are, sorry, a liar. You're either lying that you are hurt or you're a bit mental for being hurt. It's just people going, oh, there's a bad thing over there. Let me get as close to it as possible so you can see how good I am. And I kind of want them to do that because they're demonstrating something so base level. So he thinks that his statements are not the problem, but the fans are the problem for calling him out for his behavior. Yikes. Well, to be fair to him, he did apologize to Ice Spice publicly. Sorry about shit that I've said. I've never meant to hurt anybody. Sorry if I've offended you and like, Ice Spice, I'm sorry. It's not because I'm annoyed that me joking got misconstrued, it's because I don't want Ice Spice to think that I'm a 
I love you, Ice Spice. I'm so sorry. But according to Insiders, Ice Spice was not exactly accepting his apology because she doesn't think that it's sincere. Insiders report that she felt humiliated and angry when Maddie made the comments about her. And she also believes that he only apologized because he was getting dragged online. And he was scared to face the consequences of his actions. Even though Ice Spice is a new artist, she already has a loyal fan base, and her fan base has been coming for Maddie hard. But it's not just her fan base that has been dragging him because the Swifties have also had something to say. Taylor Swift recently did a song with Ice Spice, so the Swifties are extra mad that Maddie is making Taylor look bad. So, yeah, it has been a rough couple of weeks for Maddie, and it's about to get even rougher because Taylor has finally dumped him after this messy controversy. Taylor is known to be a girl's girl, and she was not having any of Maddie's BS. What's more, insiders claim that Ice Spice might have had a role to play in the breakup, but we don't know for sure exactly what she said to Taylor to make her dump Maddie. But then, it's not all about Ice Spice, because people feel like his comments are a big reason why Taylor broke up with him. He has been making these comments for way too long, and it's kinda making Taylor look bad. People have been calling her out for sticking with Maddie despite his problematic behavior, and it started to reflect negatively on her. And if there is one thing we know about Taylor, it's that she will always protect her career no matter what, and this is probably why she dumped him. But nobody feels sorry for him because he is getting cooked by fans who are saying stuff like, OMG, I knew Maddie Healy's vibes were off. So glad I never listened to them. Nasty. Team I Spice 110% Maddie Healy. How are you getting on stage every night and mocking toxic masculinity and then going on a podcast and undoing the whole thing by being wildly ignorant, misogynistic, homophobic, racist, everything else under the sun disgraceful behavior actually, and Maddie Healy is freaking toxic. End of discussion. But do you guys think that Maddie is really sorry for his actions or do you think he's doing damage control? Let me know what you think in the comments and then check out this next video.